Welcome to another beginner GIMP tutorial. Did you know that GIMP can be extended with additional brushes and patterns and scripts and plugins? It can, and we're going to do just that. We're going to install a set of scripts for GIMP today, and it is the FX Foundry set of scripts. It's going to add over a hundred additional filters and effects that you'll be able to use in GIMP. And I wanted to I wanted to get this done during this video because in the next tutorial video that I upload, we're actually going to be using one of the effects that's provided by FX Foundry. All right, so I have my browser open and I am at the page for downloading the GIMP FX Foundry set of scripts and I'm going to walk you through the whole process. So if you if you follow this tutorial and and follow the process that I show you, you will have the FX Foundry set of scripts installed in your GIMP and you'll be able to use them in the next tutorial. All right, so the link to this page is in the show notes. It'll take you directly to this page. I'll select I'm going to select files. Okay, so here's the GIMP FX script pack. This hasn't been updated since 2008, but it still works absolutely fantastic. So let's go ahead and GIMP Foundry 2.6.1. And I'm going to download the zip file. Okay, now I have in my downloads, I have a folder that's named GIMP, and that's where I'm going to download the FX Foundry set of scripts in that GIMP folder. Okay, so our download is completed. Let's bring up File Manager here, and you can see there's my GIMP FX Foundry set of scripts. It's in a zip file. I'm just going to right click it and tell it to extract here. And that will create a new folder for the GIMP FX Foundry set of scripts. And if you look at it, there's 118 different scripts in here. That's going to add 118 additional effects and filters for GIMP. Okay, so now I have my GIMP open. Let's go over to GIMP, and we're going to go into Edit, and we're going to go into Preferences. And then down here where it says folders, I'm going to click the plus sign and open up the folder dialogs here. And then I'm going to go to scripts. And as you can see, it has one directory right now um, in the GIMP installation folder for my home folder for the default set of scripts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here and I'm going to select the plus sign, add a new folder. So they make it they make this really really easy and then I'm going to go over here and select this folder icon and that will let me to navigate and choose uh, where the scripts are located so downloads and then I put it in GIMP and then I expanded it to the GIMP FX Foundry folder and I'm going to select OK. So now it has that folder listed as one of the folders that GIMP will look in to load scripts whenever GIMP loads. So I'm going to select OK. All right now at this point what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to shut down GIMP and then launch GIMP again and when launch loads again it will load up all those scripts from that folder that we just specified. So I'm going to close out the GIMP. I'm going to go back in here. I'm going to open it back up again. And now if you look at the top menu system, now you will see an entry for FX Foundry. So it loaded all the scripts that were listed in the folder that we specified where we unpacked the zip file. I always like to have my different set of scripts and different sets of plugins and brushes and things of that nature in their own folder. So I know where I got them. I know what they what pack they belong to. So, but you, you know, you can put them wherever you want. Unpack the zip file anywhere you want. All you've got to do is let GIMP know where you where they're located, and it will load it the next time you load GIMP. 
So there, as you can see, there are tons and tons of different effects and enhancements. Now, most of these are grayed out right now because I don't have an image loaded. Some of the um, effects and filters will work on an entire image. Sometimes, some of them will work on a specific layer. You have to specify the layer. But um, just absolutely fantastic set of scripts here. All right, so, so we have loaded up a new set of, of filters and effects for GIMP. So in the next tutorial, when I post the next tutorial, we are going to be using one of the effects from FX Foundry. And then I'll have some additional plugins if, if you want to install in GIMP. And I'll show you how to install those as well. All right, so that wraps up this episode. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next episode.